Hey, what's your boys here? How my number one's doing today? For me, I'm excited. Uh, I finally got back into the making these videos. Well, hopefully, I can get back into making these videos. Um, and uh, you know, this is a good day and early start to the day because I want to uh, do good in this manner uh, for you guys. <laughs> I want to get the video out because I, I got a busy day today, unfortunately. So I'll get this out ASAP. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I might run through some technical difficulties, but you know, it's okay. Let's just get started. Uh, and before we do, uh, I just want to ask if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share the video because it helps out get this video you know, more exposure and uh, help me on the algorithm. That's uh, heavily appreciated. Uh, again, I got other stuff working in the works, so uh, expect that. I hope to get that out very soon for you guys. When I find the time, I've been way busier than I want it to be in the last few months. Uh, anyways, first topic of the video today, uh, I think it's a fun one. So let's go here to uh, the desktop view. Wow, wow. Look at that. We're back here on Twitter. Uh, first news story today uh, is about Girls Frontline. We see here from Mars, uh, Mars or Mr., uh, their Twitter account sharing the anime preview video, promotional video uh, for Girls Frontline, which it's very exciting. It's something I forgot to launch, so I'm just going to launch that while I talk here. Uh, it's very exciting because I've been playing this for three years, and I've been wanting an anime for this for a long time. Now, yes, they did do an anime uh, that was more of a comedic chibi uh, anime, but then now it's more serious. Uh, and um, I like this uh, bottom part here that, that looks like the, exactly from the manga, which I need to read, which will c feature a female commander. So let's... Loot the commander, let's go! Technically, you're looting yourself if you're a player of Girls Frontline. Now, one interesting thing to note, and you know, there's official Warner Bros. They uh, did the trailer. They, well, they're working with Warner Bros. right now, and they released the trailer on the official YouTube channel. Go watch both of those, I've linked uh, down in below the description just for your own viewing. Now, what I want to show you guys, if I go here, uh, if I move this over to the right screen, uh, is uh, the difference in design here now most the, the main cast the, of, of uh, AR team anti rain uh, looks about right for translating into uh, a uh, anime form one character that I find kind of interesting is M4 because you see here from the official website we have uh, her you know knee up basically and what I find it looks generally the same pretty good pretty good Except for this part right here. Uh, please, YouTube coon, don't harp me on that. Um, she's wearing a leotard. Now, I know about the tied like jacket here. That's not a surprise. But if I move this into view here, this is in-game artwork. And this looks like a ribbed sweater. But down here, it definitely looks like a ribbed sweater. I don't know. Even in her like neural upgrade, if you go to neural upgrade here, boom, boom, uh, five star. Assault Rifle, boom. M4. Still wearing the same, uh... Still wearing the same sweater. So, now, for some reason, she's wearing a leotard. It, it feels a little weird. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah! I'm very excited. I, I love the game, and I want to see it succeed in animation form. I'm happy it survived so long. Uh, in other news, we got uh, someone named Soda Funk. if you're in the VTuber space. Uh, well, I don't know why all my tabs are reloading now, but uh, Soda Funk, uh, they hosted a um, free talk uh, or talking stream uh, on uh, YouTube a few, uh, about a week ago actually at this point, uh, and a lot of fans were like, oh my god, Soda Funk got a thing, doing a thing. Um, uh, in as well, uh, I was, uh, one of the lovely acquaintances I've been able to meet, uh, it actually got contacted by Soda Funk to create this adorable little cat girl, uh, Soda Funk, that's their mascot, really adorable, I, I like the design very much, uh, however, not only is there some positive news and there's some controversial stuff surrounding Soda Funk, uh, that'll be leaving, I'll be leaving that for another video I will do on, uh, this particular topic, uh, but for now let's just celebrate that they've got a, their own mascot and they've uh, talk to their fans at least. That's fun for now. Uh, <laughs> in VTuber news as well, uh, we've got V Shoujo, their official tweet here, promoting uh, Vei Bay, Fruit uh, or Lich Tuber, and uh, The Gun Run. They were featured on British national TV on BBC. Uh, so if you want to see the full clip right there, 
Though this clip for some reason only mentions uh, Vebe and Fruit. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, but I didn't know Vebe was British uh, until this. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Nice. Um, so that's really great that uh, VTubing is becoming more mainstream. But then again, also, like, there's a lot of people who come in and are like, kind of like, I, uh, I'm i a normie. I don't know what's going on. So I don't know. That, you know, that, that's a, a story, you know, for another day. And uh, moving on to more anime news. Uh, we talk about Digimon Tamers. Uh, they are fighting political correctness and cancel culture in a live script reading for Digifest 2021. Thank you, Nichi Ban. Uh, Digifest 2021, what is that? It is a celebration of Digimon Tamers, which was, well, is the third series of uh, Digimon. Uh, and uh, it's a much darker version of Digimon. And it's interesting that it's set in the world where the first two seasons or series is actually just a media form, just like it is in our, in our world. And it's weird that a fansman group called the Wild Bunch put a warning saying that the program promotes far-right politics and conspiracy theories. And I'm like, what? Why is that? Is, is it bad to say that you don't like people being canceled? Is it bad that, to say that you don't like people being you know, removed from websites or dissenting opinions? Like, you should be able to have different opinions on platforms. That's my thing. You know, I like free speech as much as I am in a country that doesn't like free speech. Or doesn't have free speech, to say that. Um, and uh, it's funny that there's even a tap, as you can see right there, called cancel culture. Literally just called cancel culture. Um, and uh, according to, you know, Nietzsche Ban here, Twitter, Reddit, and Reset Era, and a lot of people offended by the content. And like, um, people who are offended. For me, a theory I've, I've come across, it seems to hold true, is that people who are offended by cancel culture, who like deny cancel culture are usually the ones guilty of it uh so yeah and plus they're a small minority uh so sticking to the man is pretty good i like that i appreciate that uh however they apologized for splitting fans and i i can't i hate it because they're usually the small loud ones and they don't really buy the product they just complain about the product they don't actually buy it i actually buy products of, of you know things i like and if it's bad i don't buy it and if i you know want to critique because i like it i critique because i like it um but yeah they they shouldn't apologize they, it's funny because i they i think they saw the western uh reaction to it and they said oh no we gotta save face no don't apologize do not apologize i hate to see it because i've seen people bullied off twitter uh, due to having a different opinion. And it's really sad to see uh, that something similar is happening in the industry when, again, a small group of people is speaking for Western audiences. And I want to be someone who changes that, you know? I will want to be the minority that speaks to the majority. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and on to other news. Funny enough that this is on here. We'll talk about that a little later. We have High Guardian Spice. Nichi Ban again. Thank you very much. I love you guys. Uh, High Guardian Spice finally has a trailer out. Now, the trailer is pretty nice. It's pretty good. Everything the visually sounds good. The voice acting sounds pretty solid, in my opinion. Uh, however, I'm just confused at what strategy they're trying to employ uh, with this. Because it's been quite a while. They teased it for quite a while. And now they're finally releasing it. Like, is it because they want people to buy their uh, merchandise? Because that's, you know, that's where people make their money on this kind of shit. Uh, or are they trying to make so that people forget their shit ass, ass, uh, trailer, trailer in quotes here, that they released a few years ago that was basically a Kickstarter video that said, hey, half of our team that's not on the writing side is whamming. Wow, look at how great of a, of a show it is. Oh, all our creative writing staff, all whamming. Okay, good for you, but... What about the show? It's just funny that it was just a Kickstarter video, but it wasn't promoting the product. It was promoting the people working on the product. I could care less about that uh, if you're promoting the product and promote the product. If you want to make a video, about, oh, the people behind, sure, go ahead, be my guest. But the, 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 it was very misleading in that it was supposed to be a trailer or a kind of video on it. And then you're like, oh, we're talking about our staff. What? 
I could care less. Again, I could care less about the balance of gender in a company. If you make a good product and you're a good company, then good for you. Good job. 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. This just... I've heard good things that the test screenings, that it's good. Uh, but I don't know how much I can trust that. I will watch it for myself and probably make a review. Uh, things seem very interesting in that manner. And moving on to a little bit more closer to the you know, higher up things that you know Crunchyroll is involved with. This wonderful tweet by Funimation. Funimation is saying that now them and Crunchyroll are now one company. Yay! And uh, this was like months ago in the making. And um, I don't really know what their strategy is for the um, merging. Because they got bought and now it's finalized. And actually, I didn't read this before, but what it means to people on both subscription services. Our goals create a unified enemy. So, they'll be merging. Yep. But who will be who? I highly think, I, I'm very highly confident that Funimation will absorb all of Crunchyroll. Uh, and take all that uh, in in, in in its blob of media under Sony, which is not surprising. Again, I don't like these companies either. I have never subscribed to these guys at all. Uh, I've considered it at some point, but uh, they've proven otherwise. Uh, so yeah, this and then even uh, here on their official website, uh, Funimation. Uh, business as usual for now, but that might mean that they'll be absorbing in Crunchyroll, which is not surprising. That screenshot came from a quite a, some time ago. I don't remember. That, yeah, it was back in December as well. Uh, so, uh, not seeming good. Again, I don't like that they have such a monopoly on the Western distribution side. And if you, I, you think I am over-exaggerating that, fair. But I have this lovely graph, uh, org chart, and I'll just remove Ray for a moment here so you can actually see uh, what's going on uh, here. Uh, we have the org chart, uh, chart written by uh, Solid X. Let me just zoom up on that name so you can see a little bit better. Uh, Solid X, or Help Me, Hetuka. Uh, Hekuta, he version 5. Now, this was made back in December, but uh, the main thing that's changed here uh, is the Crunchyroll acquisition. And now, as you can see here, Sony owns Sony Music Entertainment. They own Aniplex, which then also owns A1 and Cloverworks. Uh, like, A1 and Cloverworks does great work uh, on their Japanese side, uh, but their Aniplex service is going to be similar to what they do with Funimation and their subsidiaries. Crunchyroll owns all of these guys, Viz Media. I thought Viz Media was good, but they own Viz Media Europe, which distributes Western, you know, Europe. I don't like it. Just with the way they've handled their IPs and being greedy, uh, especially with like their trying to, their attempted acquisition of uh, what was it? well acquisition of, of airing of uh, what is it? Interspecies reviewers, the greedy ass. <laughs> ah, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So. Uh, it remains to be seen what's going to happen, but most likely uh, Funimation is going to absorb all of Crunchyroll and all its things and slowly blob up the rest of anime. I hope not. I really hope that every other company stays by themselves and not work under these guys because the general sense I'm getting from a lot of people is that they don't like the changes that they've made to the script and such like that. Uh, and the minority that is for it, eh, they're a minority, absolutely a minority. And my final story for today uh, is going to be back to VTubers, actually. Uh, as you can see from this, this is a thumbnail uh, from a Terumi Koizumi. She is currently an independent uh, VTuber, although she was uh, recently under a company called Amberglow. That she left just a few days ago, and she made this video talking about her experience as a VTuber and black companies. Uh, and, and, you know, black companies in general don't just mean, like, idols and VTubers, but from what how she spoke about it it sounded like a general sense of the entertainment industry in that it takes advantage of people who are vulnerable people who are desperate who want to get into the entertainment industry and will do anything and not read contracts that actually would not be in their favor uh so it's a great video uh, you know great stream she talked about her former companies uh for for v live which sound the manager or, or higher up sounded really manipulative and there was just a bad contract with her, uh, with Amber Glow. And I hope they, I hope things are, you know, improved. Because I do enjoy, you know, two other talents that are currently under that company. If you decide to leave, I'm going to support them as well in that manner. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll leave that in the description for you guys to check it out. She's a great 
uh, person. She knows what she's talking about as a business person, really. And uh, I have his similar story, uh, but it's a smaller story. It's not really something to be its own video. Uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it one day, but nah, today's not the day about that. Uh, but that is all I have for today for videos, um, for this video. I'm a little rusty, I apologize. Uh, but thank you guys for watching through this video and uh, my disorganized mess as I am. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts down below about any of the topics that I've covered today. Um, I'm, I'm very interested to hear about that because there's so much going on with uh, controversial things. Uh, and uh, look forward to that video about Soda Funk. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video as well. Again, it helps me through the algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video.